And we are live. Good morning, Dana. Good How morning, are you? Today? Hello, hello. How are you Hi. today? I'm good, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, good, good evening, good afternoon to everyone from whatever part of the world. Hello, hello, hello. Whatever the I, time you're watching us, hello to you all. <laughs> I see that our friends are joining us. Uh, oh, Cindy, Cindy, we were talking about you. We were saying, of course, Cindy will, will join us. Hello. Hello, Irena from Australia. These lives at 11 a.m. are perfect for our friends in Australia. Australia, finally, they can watch the, these lives. Uh, um, they are always joining us. That's great. Yes, definitely. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Irena. Hello, Agnieszka. Yes, we will yes. mention Agnieszka. She will be here as well. Hello, Leono. Hello, Janka. So awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Arthur. Hello, Arthur. My, my crafty friend, Arte. Dzień dobry, Arthur. Oh. Fajnie, że jesteś. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, Ivona. Hello, Community. Hello. All the Dzień dobry, kochani, dzień dobry, fajnie, że jesteście. Wtrącę tutaj parę słówek po polsku, jak będziecie chcieli coś, jakieś wytłumaczenie, to piszcie w komentarzu i będę patrzeć, będę zwracać na to uwagę, także dziękuję. Bardzo się cieszę, że tutaj przy mną będziecie dzisiaj, um, obecnie będziecie mi tu kibicować. Thank you so much everyone for coming, for joining us today. It's another life with me today. I hope you're gonna have fun and you're gonna fall in love with mixed media as much as I love this beautiful, beautiful for mixed media fun. For sure, because you are uh, really able to transmit your energy to other people, so they will fall, they, they will fall in love for sure. And as always, don't forget to like and share this live because you will have at least one chance to win our pizza box and on monday on monday giovanni with uh, donatella russo uh, they will announce the new winner and of course if you will be inspired by anna's uh, project don't forget to post your project as well on our facebook group stampers worldwide and That's it. Anna, what are you going to create today? Well, of course, I will be doing some mixed media fun. And yeah. we will be making this mixed media canvas. This is a small canvas, size 5 by 7, but you can choose any other size, whatever applies to yourself. Uh, we will be doing some layering. We will be creating beautiful textures. We will be playing with mediums. So yes, it's going to be a lot, lot, lot happening today. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. So I'm going to just quickly say in Polish as well for my beautiful Polish friends. Sure. Uh, dzisiaj przygotujemy sobie takie podobrazie o rozmiarach 5 na 7 cali. Będziemy tutaj się bawić z różnymi mediami. Będziemy um, uczyć się jak robić kompozycje, jak aplikować media, jak zrobić teksturę. Także mam nadzieję, że Wam przypadnie do gustu ten projekt i że będziecie sobie tutaj mogli się zainspirować moim dzisiejszym projektem i może stworzyć coś podobnego. I oczywiście możecie otagować mnie w swoich postach. Będzie mi bardzo miło zobaczyć, co żeście stworzyli z mojej inspiracji. So, yes, this Great. is what we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. And of course, our friends will find everything, uh, li list of, of materials and photos on our so social media. I already posted everything on uh, our YouTube dashboard and now I will post everything also on uh, our group Stampers Worldwide and on our Instagram page uh, Stampers Worldwide as well. So you will find everything there. That will Perfect. be awesome. Hello, Farrell. Hello, Farrell. Hello, Farrell. Hello. Hello, Maria. Hello, Pam. Hello, everyone. I'm super happy you are here. Hello, 
Isabella, my absolutely amazing crafty sister, thank you for coming. And yes, I'm super excited that all of you found the time to be here with me. And of course, amazing host Lucrezia, I couldn't do without her. She has to be there for me. She's amazing. And don't forget to like and share this today's live for a chance to win absolutely amazing pizza box. Uh, which Lucrezia will specially pack it for you. So why not join this opportunity and have some goodies and play with them and learn different techniques. So it's all on you guys. I'm really counting on you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I will put our intro. You can switch your camera and then we will start creating something together, something amazing, I will say. Let's dive into it. Perfect, see you in a while. Okay, and here we are. We are back. I think I just will adjust slightly my camera. Just a second, so the vision will be. Oh, all... don't worry. Oh, I think we're good. I think we're okay. Good. Perfect. We are good. We can start. So let's have a little close up again. What we have here. So we have loads, loads, loads happening. And of course, as you know, I cannot live without flowers and I cannot live without a little bit of a blink blink as well. So this is me. This is me. So I will be creating today with amazing collection Atelier des Arts from an um, amazing, talented friend of mine, Sarah. She's uh -huh. absolutely smash this collection you have so many different elements in this paper parts uh, you have two different sizes to choose from and you also have a coordinated rice papers going with this collection so anything whatever applies to your heart and soul you can just grab it and enjoy and create with them so let's dive into it um, uh -huh. i will be bringing my little canvas and first thing what I will do, I will apply this beautiful rice paper. This is absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing paper. I really love this one. If anyone mm. needs a code for this, it's DFSA4546. This is beautiful, beautiful rice paper. So yeah, I'm it's just... perfect for, for colorful backgrounds. Absolutely. This, this uh, rice paper is from Sarah's collection. They perfectly will do the trick for your background. If you're struggling with the white um, piece of project, what you're starting, how you're breaking it uh, and starting creating it, it's always good to use the rice paper. Rice paper is your solution to go. Kochani, jeżeli macie problem z rozpoczęciem e, swojego e, projektu, jeżeli boicie się, co zrobić z białym e, na przykład tłem, co, co jak zacząć, to e, zawsze fajnie jest dodać sobie na przykład papier różowy i już jest robota gotowa i na to na przykład na, nakładamy teksturę, nakładamy inne kolory, więc no, naprawdę nie ma tutaj nic naprawdę takiego trudnego. To jest, to jest wasz pierwszy krok, to jest wasza, że tak powiem, przyjazna dłoń tutaj, żeby zacząć coś tworzyć, prawda? So, without much thinking, without much stressing, I'm going to just glue my rice paper to my canvas and I will be applying craft glue. This is really good adhesive, it dries quick, so it's definitely worth to have it on your stash. The code is DC31M if anyone needs it. Yep, I posted all everything in the comments. So they will find the code also pinned on the screen of the craft glue and also of the rice paper. 
that will be amazing. If anyone has any questions, then by all means, fire away, and we will be able to uh, give the tips and explanation what's going on. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pam. Hello, Irina. Hello, Alison. It's so nice to have you all here. Thank you so much for coming. So, I'm just spreading my craft glue on my canvas. You don't have to be super precise with that. You can just um, add a little bit more in one place is a little bit less in the other uh, because the main thing what we have to concentrate is the edges. That's the main point when the paper has to seal properly. Uh, in the center, it doesn't have to be sealed very well because we will be creating layers and dimension there. So we will cover some areas there. So it's not stressed there whatsoever. Perfect. Uh, Anna, uh, since October is starting, will you create project about autumn, uh, Halloween, or Halloween or more Christmas projects? Um, well, I, I'm usually starting Christmas projects uh, around about end of October, beginning November, because I think if I start a little bit too soon, it doesn't have that special feel, it doesn't have that uh, magic happening, so I'm not really into Christmas as yet. But uh, I definitely will be creating something. But firstly, I will need to grab this beautiful new collection from Stamperia, what I've seen. So definitely I've got that in my mind. And of course, some mixed media cards, definitely some mixed media cards. That's why I love, that's why I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Because right now I have, uh, I'm seeing on, on our, uh, social media that our friends has have already started creating uh, um, Christmas related projects and I love Christmas personally <laughs> so I'm here like perfect it's so nice to see Christmas you know at, uh, at the end of September beginning of October it's my favorite things yes Christmas is a magical time definitely uh -huh. definitely definitely so yes, it's it's definitely a good point to be inspired by the others. But like I said, personally, I'm, I'm not really starting that earlier. But it's it's good mm -hmm. to have inspiration from the others. Yes, that's of definitely. Course. And, and check out on the market what's beautiful collections available. And definitely Stamperia is the one to go. So you can't miss this one, the new release. OK, so we have our background ready and a beautiful flowers to decorate oh thank you so much cindy you know i love flowers i can't yes. live without flowers cindy or, already saw your your uh, flowers uh, so from from the uh, finished project so she's waiting for them <laughs> plus yes i love flowers i can't live without flowers when i'm creating without flowers i feel a little bit like uh oh i'm kind of lost a little bit so now i will just tone my background a little bit i will just um uh, tone it with the gesso and what i'm going to do now i'm going to apply my gesso on my um glass mat and i will spray a little bit of water I'm purposely diluting uh, gesso because if I apply gesso now on my beautiful paper, I will cover my beautiful design. And that's something what I don't want to do. So if I dilute my gesso, it still will prepare my surface to take the other mediums on top, but it also will push my paper a little bit back. We'll, we'll turn it down. Can you see what's happening? Can you see what's the difference what I'm having here? Um, I've got a little bit more gesso, not diluted in this area. So you can see it is covering, but mm -hmm. diluted with water is just giving a light, nice coat there. So I can still see my beautiful design underneath. So that's that's the another trick for you guys uh, to take away uh, if that's something what applies to you. Oh, great. Another great tip. So I'm just going to cover my background with the diluted gesso, like so. 
why is it important to add gesso? Uh, gesso is your tooth uh, to your project. It's preparing your surface to take all the mediums. And without gesso, if you apply any colors on top, it will just sink in into places. You won't be able to mix them together. You won't be able to spread them and have a nice float to join them together. So you will just basically create blob, 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 blob. If, if that's the, the thing you want to do, if that's think what you um, aiming for, then by all means it's absolutely fine. But if you want to just uh, have the beautiful uh, background underneath visible, then I would uh, suggest to apply diluted gesso. And that's that's the way I create, that's the way I do. Um, the code for gesso, if anyone needs it, of course, you've got that in the description in the video. So you can always refer to that. So I'm going to just quickly dry my background and then I will move on to apply my mediums on top. So I'm going to just switch my dryer. Okay, perfect. Meanwhile, I will read some comments. We have Anna Heleno. Hello from Portugal. Hello, our friends from all over the world. Then we have Hirena who said, just to soften the background nicely, and yeah, this was a really great tip from, from Anna. And then we have Annette. Oh, Annette, uh, hello. I see you in every live. You are our, uh, one of our best friends right now. Hugs from Sweden, hugs for you, from us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Greetings from Sweden. So Yeah, lovely. they Thank are sending us a lot of love. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. So my next step, I'm going to just uh, put my old towel underneath so I'm not spraying everywhere. I will be just having a little bit of fun with beautiful aqua color sprays. And I will start with these two beautiful colors. Uh, of course, you have a coat in the... Uh, description so if you need them i really love this color it's like a little bit of greenish a little bit of bluish it's like a transition between turquoise and green it's really beautiful color so i really definitely recommend you to grab this one and of course you have to mix them well so the powder from uh, the bottom of the bottle gets mixed nicely with the with the water in this liquid so you won't be able to spray and uh, create beautiful um color to your project so hey can you see how beautifully this color applies to this background i'll give a bit of a close-up it gives a nice change can you see on this area that's the color there and there is no color awesome. so it's okay. really nicely blending with this beautiful background it's perfect 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 and now we'll add a little bit of turquoise in few places like so and i will add a bit of water i will mix them together so because i have a gesso underneath i'm able to move my colors in areas where i want without gesso they will stain in place so this is important for you to apply gesso underneath Więc kochani, jak widzicie, bardzo ważna sprawa, żeby dodać sobie tutaj gesa, dlatego że w tym momencie mogę sobie te kolorki sobie poprzesuwać i zrobić bardzo fajne tło, żeby mi kolory się fajnie pomieszają. Bez gesa one po prostu będą w jednym miejscu i nie będziemy mogli sobie po prostu ich fajnie wymieszać. Będą po prostu takie plamy, bla, bla, bla. A to jest po prostu coś, czego, czego ja na przykład nie robię, czego nie lubię robić w moich projektach. So I'm gonna just give a quick try. Okay, I see that uh, in the comments, uh, Cindy, Cindy wrote, I guess all the regulars could be called Stamperia groupies, and Irena replied, and here I was uh, thinking I was too old to be a groupie. No, God, no girls, so we, are, we are not too old to be groupies, <laughs> don't worry. Hello, Roberta, quick hello from Italy, hello, hello. And then Anna Figu. Figueiredo, sorry if I read it wrong. Hello to you both, uh, beautiful work. Yes, it is indeed. Annette Swan, same here. Yes, we are all groupies here. <laughs> Me with music and you with uh, scrapping. Everyone has his, his, his own love. 
But uh, Lucrezia is an amazing host. I couldn't do without her. I absolutely love working with Lucrezia. She's an amazing host. Okay, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, you so much. We learn, we learn, learned, learned together to have this live. So we learned together because we had our first live together. <laughs> so we were learning. <laughs> we yes. were learning together during this month. <laughs> Yes, that's that's true. Our first life, it was my first life and your first life, and you've been mm -hmm. together. And we got to know each other. We we know what's what, and it's absolutely flowing. It's, it's just really cool, really nice. Mm -hmm. Next. Yeah, I I think that I was in uh, Samperia for like two weeks or three weeks or something like this. <laughs> <laughs> So you just literally started and you've been thrown into deep water. Bless you. Yes. <laughs> yes, but you smashed it. You did a really amazing job. So now I'm going to add a little bit of a gold and a little bit of a brown spray just to add a little bit of highlights. Because we've got brown branches underneath, then we can just by your mean add that color to our background and again I will spray a little bit of water and I will just move my colors in places where I need them to be there we go I think I will go for a little bit more gold in this area there we go okay I'm really happy with the background so I'm gonna just dry it now okay okay perfect Yes. Cindy wrote a great effect on the background. And it is indeed, it's a really great effect. And then we have Lee Tadima, hello from Brazil. Elizabeth, I definitely agree, Cindy. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, the background is really colorful and amazing. And the final effect is really good but Anna is so talented so so it's really great to have her as our friends for life and of course as I told you before if you are inspired by her amazing project don't forget to share uh, some photos of your project as well on our Stampers Worldwide group because we are always reposting them and choosing every week the, uh, the most liked for our newsletter. So don't forget to share with us your art. Okay, I think Anna is almost done. We have a lot of hearts, a lot of love. It's always amazing to be all together without any hate, any mean comments. It's it's so strange for the for the internet, I think, because uh, everywhere on the internet, um, we 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 can always read these very mean comments and all these things. So we are very very lucky to have this community. Okay, so my background is dry. Here we are. Here we are. My background is dry now. Let me just give a close-up. What's the difference we have? Camera's not catching. Let me just stick my fingers maybe. Do, do, do. Okay, there we go. Now it's in focus. Can you see how beautiful background we have with adding these beautiful sprays? And we still can see beautiful background from our rice paper. So we're not covered that completely. We've got that peeking through nicely, even though we've applied colors on top. So that's the way to go. That's the way to use your rice paper. It's your best friend to break that fear, what to do, how to start. Okay, so next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more texture to my background. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> talking a lot and losing my voice over there. I have this beautiful stencil from Sarah's collection as well. This one is my favorite one from Sarah's Designs. I'm just reaching for this constantly because we have beautiful flowers designed with beautiful um, swirls. We've got just really, really nice composition together there. 
so I'm going to just add a bit of a texture, maybe, maybe like this. Um, in fact, I will just move my towel now, so it will be better for me to apply my, uh, my uh, texture. So I'm reaching for cream paste. This is a really cool product. Dries quick. The consistency is really, really great. And also you can apply through your texture plate to create beautiful, uh, flexible um, textures to your dimension. I'll show you in a minute what I've created with this product. It's really, really super, super yummy. So you can see how fluffy this is. It's really, really cool. Let me just mm -hmm. move that bit out. Here we go. So I will just dump it here. Oh, we have a nice comment from Irena who wrote, these lives are a nice escape from the unpleasantness in the world. They are always uplifting and encouraging. Yes, that's definitely, that's definitely true. That's definitely uh -huh. true. We have to support each other. We are the best crafty community and we have lots of friends to reach for. So don't hesitate to reach for one. If you've got like a dull day or whatever, just, just have a chat with someone, just grab your tools and create, just watch the live. This is, this is what's, what's it's matter. This is what's all about. So we have beautiful, beautiful texture to my project tablet. I'm just gonna put my stencil in the soapy water. Yeah, the effect is really beautiful. Really, really. Thank you. Thank you. I really like this. I really like this uh, stencil and I really like this paste to create with. It's really, really my cup of tea. And uh, what? We, <coughs> excuse me, my voice playing. So what we're going to do now? We're going to concentrate on our embellishments now. So I can leave that aside to dry on its own. And whatever is not going to dry, I'm going to use my heat gun to dry it. Uh, so we can just move to uh, play with our embellishments. So like I mentioned to you that with. The cream paste, you can create beautiful backgrounds using your texture plate. And this is what I've created for today's project as well. So we have some texture from this beautiful texture plate. If anyone needs the code, I'll give you a quick um, close up for the code. Uh, <clears throat> Just quickly, we'll say to my Polish uh, community, mm -hmm. uh, pasta kremowa jest bardzo fajnym produktem, z którego możecie przygotować taką fajną um, teksturę, używając właśnie takich, e, takich e, tych moldów e, cieniutkich. E, fajny, fajnie dodaje to kontrastu dla waszych prac. E, można go wykorzystać w wielu różnych technikach, także naprawdę jest, jest to fajny e, produkt, fajny sposób na przygotowanie waszych e, embellishmentów. Okay, so we have our texture, we have some uh, elements from clay as well, what I will be using. And this is the uh, mold what I've used to create this flower. And, ooh, I haven't got it with me. And one second, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one where I've created the frame with the butterfly. So as you can see, you don't have to use the full um, mold to have a beautiful uh, embellishment to your project. You can just use part of it. And for example, this beautiful uh, frame with the love inside, you can just apply it in the center and you ha can have nice like a letter love letter in there or you can just create a beautiful frame for something different so you just think about outside the boxes that's that's something what you can always experiment with okay so we have those um, uh, elements right there and uh, i like to play with soft clay this is this is really a good product um, playing with soft clay, creating my embellishments quite consistently. Uh, it dries quick, uh, pretty much 
in a few hours you can just uh, start playing and applying all the mediums but if you want to leave it to uh, to dry completely then 24 hours will do the job and it's really cool what i also like about the soft clay that it's light uh, it doesn't give uh, much weight to your embellishment so it's also good to use for example for your scrapbooking project for example for your cards it's also perfectly uh, go together with with anything whatever you will be creating so definitely soft clay is recommended project for you to have okay great a lot so, of tips. yeah go ahead Lucas. yeah and oh well, um do, do you know that cindy likes to mix all the collections and she wrote that the stencil can be used also with the amazonia collection the stencil yes, with the flowers that, that's definitely true that's definitely yes that's definitely uh, you don't have to just create with one collection you can just uh, pick up the the colors uh, they they pretty much matching nicely with with so many so you can just pick maybe playing with house of roses or i don't know for example blue land this is the absolutely amazing collection and you can for example mix it with winter tiles why not mm -hmm. blue and pink goes nicely together and blue dark and lighter goes nicely together a bit of a gray a bit of a silver there to add a bit like sparklies and you know you've got it ready you don't have to think about just one collection to create with so think outside the box guys this is this is always the way to go okay yes. i totally agree with you so what i'm going to do i'm gonna just play a little bit with my embellishments now to create um to add some colors to create some uh, interest to them so i'm spraying directly uh the same colors of sprays what i've created my uh, background with i'm not introducing any new colors as you know i like to keep things in the same tones when i'm creating um not introducing any like bizarre colors in between that's something what i don't do okay so we have some colors added to my beautiful embellishment there we go i can just give a quick dry to it Mm -hmm. Let me check who we have in the comment. Crystal is saying, Lucrezia, che guapa eres. <laughs> Thank you so much. And then Irene, oh no, what is Anna? Who wrote, Thank God, Lucrezia, there is enough madness going on around the world to waste time here spilling hate words. It's best to appreciate art and beauty. I totally agree with you. Right now the world is crazy, and uh, at least here we here we can be fine and happy and enjoy our time. Then Peppy, hola Peppy, hola Crystal, amore, hello Laura Vidano, how hi Laura, and here we are. So, can you see what's happening with my embellishments? How beautiful the color goes in my soft clay element and it also gives that shine because i've used those gold sprays it's really really cool and this one looks like it's been made out of metal like a rusty metal it has that uh, um, vintage look so you can see what you can actually play uh, you can actually create with your embellishments you don't have to leave it plain white you can add the colors on top so kohani jak widzicie uh, stay um modeliny z tej soft clay e, można zrobić bardzo fajne elementy i można dodać im również koloru, charakteru. Nie muszą być tylko i wyłącznie białe. I to jest na przykład jeden ze sposobów e, właśnie posprejować je tymi mgiełkami. Wygląda tak, jakby był zrobiony z metalu, ma to tutaj troszeczkę pobłysku i naprawdę wygląda dość ciekawie, prawda? So, mm. we have this ready. Now we can highlight a little bit texture on uh, our design so for that i'm using the leftover gesso what i have on my mat and i will just do the brushing like so okay Great. Uh, I'm, not, mm -hmm. I'm not taking um 
the acrylic paints to highlight my texture because I don't want to have like a very striking, very, very much popping. I just want to nicely highlight my texture a little bit and have the colors nicely blend as well. So that's the purpose. I'm not reaching for white acrylic. But if that's something what you want to do, then by your mean, you can use the uh, white acrylic. Uh, I'm happy with, with gesso effect. So this is what I have. OK. There we go. Nice. Really beautiful. So we have our texture highlighter, we have our butterfly highlighted, and we still have pieces of our uh, colors of um, sprays underneath visible. So that's the way to go. Cindy wrote, the aqua colors are wonderful with the clay. Yes, absolutely, Cindy. Yes, you're right. So definitely that's your friend. That's definitely your, your um, medium to play with. So that's one of the way how you can um, extend a little bit and play with your elements to add the extra color. The next call, uh, the next technique, what you can do is to play with acrylic paints uh, from Allegro line. And as you know, uh, as you've seen probably before, this is the way what I like to do. So I squirt a little bit of a color on my mat. And then I'm just brushing with my fingers. I'm painting with the fingers. Now, if you want to go into the details quite deeply, you can use a very thin brush, and that's that's the way to go. But I like to play with my fingers. I I like to get messy. That's that's what the whole pleasure of mixed media is. There we go. So some areas will be a little bit lighter, some areas will be a little bit darker, and we can see our beautiful design popping. So our element made out from clay, it's not as bland. It has that a little character. And can you see what's the difference? There we go. I'll give you a close up. And it also oh, has that yeah. vintage look as well. So it's it's not like, you know, very very new take out from the mold it is has that special special vintage feel there we go oh the effect is amazing so that's that's one of the things and now in the center of our mold of our element uh, we can also add a bit of a uh, spray as well but not directly spraying but just with the with the um, with the tube from the spray, we can just directly tap a little bit of the color inside, spray a bit of the water to blend it nicely, and just move our clay around here and there so our color will move. There we go. Now, if you think you have a little bit too much going on, too much happening, just grab your baby wipe and just wipe it off. There we go. okay great so we have two colors added to our clay elements and that's the two different techniques what i've used for this so that's that's something we can take uh, advantage of and you can play with your uh, elements so you don't have to be just leaving them totally white totally bland you can just uh, stretch your imagination basically grab your mediums play with them experiment with them and as we know we're all learning from each other so it's a good way to go if you have any crafty friends you you want to reach out for ask them questions what they're doing follow them on social media because they they're giving you so many beautiful uh, tips they they just sharing the passion so everybody can join in and have a good fun have a good time playing together of course but you uh, you should give uh, to our people also your uh, social media if they are not following you yet uh, yes by all means uh, feel free to follow me on my uh, instagram you can find me as anna hubert 01 you can find me on Facebook. My Facebook page is Anna's Passion. And as well, you can find me on my YouTube channel, which is also Anna's Passion. I'm creating different tutorials for you there uh, with mixed media, with card making, with flower making. So I'm hoping everyone will find something there for yourself. So 
I hope you will join in and you will you will have the good inspiration and maybe you will learn something from from all that what I do. Perfect. I'm posting your link to social media on the comments so they so our friends can find everything uh, in the comments. That will be awesome. That will be awesome if everyone will find me there and will join me there. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so now we have our beautiful canvas and now we will start playing with elements. We will start uh, building our composition. Just to make sure my texture is dry, I'm going to just gently tap in a few places. It is almost dry. It might just need a little bit of a uh, heat gun. So I'm going to just quickly dry it. Can you see how quickly that texture dry with your cream pies? You don't really have to uh, just wait forever and use a heat gun. You can play with other mediums, uh, create your embellishments. In the meanwhile, your texture is dry and ready to go. Great. So I've posted Anna's Instagram, Anna's Facebook, and I'm copying the link also to Anna's YouTube. Here it is. So now you can follow her everywhere and every every time you want to see her magical tutorials. Then going back to the comment, wow, Anna wrote, Anna Elena wrote, I think Anna is a female version of T-Mold. So she explains every li little thing and presents all kinds of ideas and suggestions. So you are amazing, Anna. Wow, that's oh. you. <laughs> oh, Anna, that's so, so kind of you. Thank you so much. You really made my day. Oh, I'm so, so, so chuffed. I'm so, so true. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You are really, really kind. Thank you. I couldn't be grateful, more grateful with, with having this amazing crafty friends and having this opportunity to, to share the passion, to spread the love for, for creating, for having, having an inspiration, for learning from each other, for, you know, experimenting, basically. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And also Erica wrote, uh, uh, good morning, I'm learning as usual. And also Agnieszka wrote, we are always learning something new because you are giving so many tips. Oh, you are a great happy. teacher for our friend. I'm super happy I could be here with you, for you. And, and we basically um, supporting each other that way. Mm -hmm. uh, we we all learn from each other, and this is this is what it's all about. We all have a, a bit of a experiment. We all have a bit of a fun, and it's it's always good. It's always pleasure to to have someone who's actually following the passion as much as you do, and that's that's an amazing. Thank you, thank you so much, everyone. You are awesome. There we oh, go. Oh, that's so, so nice. We have also Elizabeth Carvalhais Ferreira. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Hello from Portugal to all Stampira family. Hello, hello. Oh, amazing. Hello, Portugal. One day I will come to Portugal. That's for sure. Uh, that's that's my that's my dream to to travel and and go to Portugal. That's for sure. Yeah, so, I would okay. like to go to. I I would like to go as well. Never been there, and I would like to go. Yes, yes, I never been in Portugal out there, so I really, really would love to go. So um, what I'm doing now, just go back to, to my embellishments. Um, I've added two different colors of um, Allegros, uh, Turtle Dove and F. I really like those colors. They complement nicely each other. So I've got in some areas a little bit lighter brown, a little bit darker in some others, and I've highlighted beautiful texture from my uh, clay what I've created embellishment there we go and as you can tell they are flexible so for example you can add them nicely on your um, for example not so even surface so for example maybe if you will be embellishments like a teen or something you can nicely bend them and they will nicely attach they will not be just standing straight you can just um, bend them in the in the way whatever you file whatever you need Okay, so let me just move my canvas here. I can move a little bit. Oh, 
space here and I can just plug in my hot glue because I will need <clears throat> will need my hot glue in a minute or two so I'm just gonna warm it up in the meanwhile so what I'm thinking because my uh, my composition on this project is on the left hand side I'm thinking maybe I stretch a little bit and maybe I will show you how you can start and build the composition from the different side you don't have to definitely go from the one angle as it shows you uh, by uh, any of the inspiration where you're watching so this one is on the left hand side let's do it on the right hand side why not why not being courageous let's play with the elements this is this is last minute a little bit of a change what I've come up with and I hope you don't mind so I'm thinking I will place my clay in those areas so I can start building the composition on that way and on this area will be a little bit heavier and will be coming lighter that way so that's the way to go you have to just um, uh, have a vision how your composition will look so for example if you think and you will start from one corner then move it to the another corner and go from heavier to the lighter now if you're thinking to start building something in center then concentrate on center and gently go into the area so it spreads in all corners or for example if you reverse your canvas or of the project into the horizontal way uh, uh, I mean vertical way then you can just for example concentrate on this area on the top corner or the bottom corner whatever applies to you or just generally go for the center or top or slightly go on the bottom so that's the way you can create your composition and that's that's the way you can just imagine things what you want to do with with the different elements Kochani, powiem wam tu szybciutko po polsku. Jeżeli chcecie zacząć budować kompozycję i nie wiecie jak ją budować, to fajnym procesem jest po prostu sobie wyobrazić. Czyli jeżeli na przykład zaczynam z tej strony, to ta strona będzie troszeczkę cięższa, będzie bardziej zbudowana i będzie delikatnie przechodzić w tą stronę, że ta kompozycja będzie ładnie taka... Mm, rozszerzona, prawda? Możecie obrócić na przykład swój projekt, projekt w ten sposób i na przykład skoncentrować się na jednym górnym rogu, a na dolnym będzie na przykład troszeczkę mniejsza ta kompozycja. Możecie zrobić ją na środku i na przykład ją delikatnie rozprowadzić po końcach albo zacząć od góry i delikatnie przeprowadzić na dół, więc to po prostu musicie sobie wyobrazić, jak chcecie tą kompozycję zbudować. Tu nie ma nic trudnego, naprawdę, musicie mi uwierzyć na słowo. So, Elizabeth oh, saying, Anna, you need to visit Portugal, Lucrezia, you are my guest. Oh, <laughs> yeah, also, also, Anna, come, come, Lucrezia and Anna, we'll take you on a tour and, and bring Omar too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, we have a lot of friends in Portugal that will, that um, wants to uh, help us and uh, taking us for a tour. <laughs> Oh, that's so super nice. That's so super kind. If I'm booked into Portugal, then I definitely will post on my social media. I'm coming. So if anyone would like to meet me there, I will be more than happy to just jump in and go for a tour or whatever you've got a plan for me to, to do. Then that will be just super, super awesome. I can't, I can't so really nice. wait. It's, I'm just blooming with excitement. Honestly, it's so amazing. Thank you. Haha. So amazing. So, Cindy wrote great on explanation to... on creating composition. This really is important to know. You're welcome, Cindy. That that is that is something what everybody could benefit. If you, for example, start in your crafty journey, if you're a beginner, that's something what you can learn. Uh, if you're more advanced, and sometimes we've got like. Um, a blockage we don't know what to do how to start then then obviously we have to just imagine things what we really want to achieve and and that's the way to go that's definitely way to go so i have some elements what i've cut out from the collections uh, both paper pads from a larger and a smaller one i've got these beautiful frames and that is actually be, will complement nicely with my embellishment. I've got a bit of a flower. I've got a butterfly on this tag. Uh, I have uh, two tubes of um, 
paints and I have flowers. I have a couple of uh, die cuts elements what I've picked from the uh, this uh, die set. There's loads, loads of die sets in this uh, pack. It's 76 pieces, so it definitely lasts you for a while in so many different projects you can use them. Uh, you can also use them, for example, in your Argenaline. They are also good to be using Argenaline. That's really good. And Argenaline is my most enjoying technique, most enjoying uh, things to do. So maybe next time, if um, you might want to do some Argenaline, I'm more than happy to, to do a session with Argenaline. This is really relaxing, really enjoying. So I hope you will enjoy it and having fun too. Okay. So I'm going to start attaching my elements and building my composition. And for that, I will be using heavy uh, glossy gel. This is really good adhesive. And also advantage of using gel medium on your project because it doesn't dry right away. You have the time to, to wiggle, to move your elements a little bit here and there, wherever you're happy with. And um, you don't have to worry, oh, it doesn't look good yet. I thought oh, I will have to just pick something there or whatever. So this is this is definitely the medium to go with. Uh, I'm just going to tip my uh, brush into the soapy water so it's not going to get destroyed. In fact, I actually need to buy those uh, silicone brushes. They are really, really good to have. So I definitely will consider that. OK, so. I'm going to just stick my elements first. So adding a generous amount of your gel medium so you know it will hold nicely. There we go. Now, if you want these elements to be sticked quickly, if you're not thinking that you will need to move them in any areas, then by all means you can. Uh, add uh, a bit of a hot glue and that definitely will dry quicker for you. Uh, but uh, I always like to have a little bit of a wiggle room, as I call, uh, maybe in case I have to move uh, my elements somewhere, then it's always good to have gel medium there because it's not dry right away. OK, so I'm happy with that. Uh, now I'm thinking maybe I will just uh, start building my composition, maybe with the uh, tubes of paints like so. And so my element's not going to be totally flat. You can add some, um, for example, a foam type underneath. So they will just rise a little bit. So you can just maybe use uh, like a gray board. Why not? You can use that too. There we go. So I'm going to just cut a piece of a gray board and raise my elements in few places so it's gonna have nice dimension it's not gonna be just flat and this is what i like in my um project so they're not totally flat they have some movements happening there and that's the way that's the way to go there we go Kochani, jeżeli chcecie, żeby wasze elementy nie były takie płaskie, to fajnie jest dodać na przykład um, tej um, pianki albo na przykład tej e, tektury pod spód, żeby te nasze elementy fajnie nam dawały taką e, przestrzenność w naszych pracach. E, to właśnie fajnie wyostrza nasze prace, że one nie są takie płaskie, nie są takie klapnięte. Więc to jest definitely, mm, definitywnie jest to, jest to e, opcja, którą możecie sobie wykorzystać. So, we've got my e, elements e, glued there. Uh, I'm thinking maybe maybe this will go here. Yeah, why not? I really like that colors transition. So that will be nicely highlighted. So okay, added. great. Uh, okay. Isabella wrote, I think material projects are easier to do than mixed media. Uh, need, need Anna to be my private tutor for mixed media. <laughs> Of course, my crafty sister Isabella, I will be your private tutor, I will be your private teacher. Anytime you need to uh, have a bit of a creative time together, then I'm more than happy to 
to jump in on the call and do it. Anyone else who would like to have a private session with me, I'll try to find a time and by all means, fire away. You can you can have a creative time with me. Let's let's do it. Let's let's have fun together. Why not? Why not having this uh, amazing opportunity and support each other and and learn from each other? This is, oh, this is definitely way to go. Yeah, that's a great. Really, really. Okay, so I'm gonna just add my um element there and uh, because i have these raised up and um, the texture what i've created with the um, soft clay uh, i mean from the cream paste uh, i will add a bit of a uh, gray board there so my elements will not flat that flat down it will nicely stand out it will not be just uh, you know going down in places and will be just just straight basically here we go cut another piece of a gray board there we go um if anyone has any question then by all means fire away and i'm more than happy to to um give you the tips and ideas what works for me maybe that will work for you too so just just don't hesitate feel free um i'm here for you this is this is my time for you guys so fire away feel free okay we have that ready and i have some uh, leftovers from uh, cutting my uh, paper so i have some strips and i also will add them to my um composition i'm just gonna cut them in uh, smaller strips because i will be just uh, extending them here and there, here and there, uh, so I don't have to have them for so uh, long. So what I also like to do with my elements, I like to distress them a little bit. So they're not just, you know, plain, they're not bland. And because uh, I'm distressing them, it also my paper um, get crinkled in some areas. So it's also having that nice, a little bit of a, a vintage look if the camera will pick that here we go let's try it let's try it let's try it uh, maybe once again come on camera in focus there we go so you can see oh you can't see oh now you can so you can see what the difference is makes just a simple trick just grab your scissors or if you have a professional distressing tool then use it don't leave it on the shelf don't get it dusted just just play with it whatever mediums whatever the products you have on your stash just just grab them just don't hesitate this is the way to go this is the way to explore if you're going to leave them on the shelf you never know what what you're capable of doing with them here we go Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I can see people still joining, which is super awesome. Thank you. Oh, so yes. Much. We have Francis Botha who's saying, enjoying this class. Hello from beautiful Cape Town. Hello, Francis. Hello, Francis um, from Cape Town. So uh -huh. awesome you here. And then Irena, who wrote, the distressing makes it look more interesting. Lovely, shabby, chic look. Yes absolutely Irina yes um, that's that's the way to go that's the way I like I don't like to have just you know um, plain cut paper like so I like to uh, just crinkle a little bit uh, or, or add a little bit of a distress in so that's the way to go so I'm going to just quickly say to my Polish friends Kochani, jeżeli macie jakieś elementy powycinane z papieru, które chcielibyście dodać do swojej kompozycji, możecie je sobie troszeczkę potraktować nożyczkami czy takim specjalnym narzędziem do dystresowania. Wtedy wasze elementy nie będą takie po prostu płytkie, że tak powiem, ale będą miały troszeczkę charakteru, będą wyglądały troszeczkę ciekawiej i będą miały troszeczkę takiego postarzanego wizerunku, prawda? Więc tak to wygląda. Mam nadzieję, że e, się zainspirujecie i że, że takie właśnie sposoby przypadną wam do gustu. 
Okay, so I think we are good to go with with those strips. We can just maybe fit them here and there, like so. Yes, I'm happy with that. So for that, I'm going to just use my hot glue. I don't have to use the gel medium for it because uh, I'm no and uh, I will leave them for sure. So I don't have to have that wiggle room for them to be moved in the different areas. This is this is the way I need them. So I'm going to just glue them with with a hot glue. OK, and I have a vision for this brown to go here as well like so oh okay. Dor dorota joined us hello anna hello lucrezia hello dorota hello 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 dorota cześć dorota witaj fajnie że się pojawiłaś na moim live dziękuję bardzo że przybyłaś okay really? so i'm just adding um, those elements in few places uh, here and there, here and there, and this is this is how you can fit all the spaces in between your composition. You can just fill it with the strips of paper, and can you see what's the difference it makes? Your composition it looks full, uh, więc um, w ten sposób sobie wypełniamy naszą kompozycję, że tak powiem, zapychamy sobie dziury uh, i nasza kompozycja jest wtedy fajnie taka pełna, że tak powiem, dziury, bo dziury, no, bo prześwituje nam coś tam pod spodem, prawda? Więc fajnie dodać sobie właśnie e, takich właśnie zwykłych, powycinanych paseczków, końcówek z naszych kolekcji i fajnie to wszystko nam dopełnia. E, fajnie nam to wszystko e, rozszerza naszą kompozycję, prawda? Ok, I'm gonna just try this beautiful frame. There's so many beautiful sentiments in this uh, collection. For example, on this frame we have art is just a paint, is not just a painting. So it's not just a painting, it's, it's the passion, it's the um, creating uh, something with with uh, with love, with uh, inspiration from others. And no, it's, it's not just a simple painting, it is someone's spirit, someone's soul. So this is this is it, guys. This is what's what creative time is, really. It's having a fun, having a good time. I think I will just move that there. I think I'm happy with the placement. So I'm going to just um, glue my uh, gray board a little bit in here. So my frame will be nicely uh, standing out, will not be flat. We'll have a nice, there we go, transition. Okay, I think I'm good with that. I really like those butterflies. Really, really cool butterflies. Okay, I think I will add a little bit of a elements here as well. Yes, definitely. Więc teraz sobie tutaj troszeczkę pododaję jeszcze, powypełniam moją kompozycję. E, dobrze, przymierzymy sobie jeszcze raz. Okay, dobrze. Okay, I think I will go for that one there. So that's the purpose. We didn't transfer the full image from the stencil because as you can see, some areas we are covering and some areas only picking through from our uh, composition. So that's the purpose of mixed media. Some areas are covered and that's absolutely fine. We know they are there and that's the fun of creating. That's That's the fun of... Uh, you know, stretching that imagination and enjoying the process. We don't have to just stick play things in blah, 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 plain places. That's that's the way to go. So that's definitely, definitely my recommendation for you if anyone finds that beneficial. Okay. Oh, great. Anita wrote, learning so much. Thank you, thank you with tons of hearts. Oh, and, you're so welcome, Anita. Yeah. So welcome. Prado Rojas wrote, it's so stunning. Uh, they are all loving your amazing project. It's really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for everyone. Okay. I think we are good with that. So um, 
to make sure my element will not uh, break and will not um, um, will have basically some support underneath to be uh, placed in this area I will also add a bit of a gray board there so I will know we'll have that um, security underneath as well and as you know um, if you add your elements uh, made out from for example soft clay um, it might break from when you're pressing so just be careful just be gentle just make sure you level up your elements so that's not going to happen okay okay perfect Okay. Also, Elena Cristina brought beautiful project. Paris Arela, so beautiful. Lots, lots of compliments. That's so kind of you all. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, everyone. Really, really nice. Thank you. So now I'm going to add my beautiful, be beautiful butterfly uh, made out of soft clay. You know, I love this product. I recommend this product and I just can't go without it, really. Okay, here we go. So we have our focal point sticked now. And now we can just create our final touches with adding flowers. Uh, we also will add this flower to uh, the composition it will nicely complement everything together and again so to make sure it will have a little bit of a support underneath i'm going to just stick a little bit of a gray board there uh, as i said earlier you can use for example foam type or you can use um, a gray board whatever you have on hand whatever you feel uh, you will be able to use or even, for example, cardboard pieces. Yes, you can use a cardboard pieces from, for example, your uh, your parcels where you receive and you can also add that to your project. So just use recycle, just, just stretch the imagination and, yeah, feel free to, to do that. Okay, we're good to go with this. Okay, here we go. Great. Uh, Agnieszka wrote, I love your composition. And then Anna Elena wrote, Anna, all your compositions are all so light, so soft and harmonious. Love your style. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. That's so super, super nice. So super kind. Thank you. Okay, I'm happy with, with those flowers to go there. So without much thinking, I'm going to just stick them down. Now, if you're looking for any tutorials how to make flowers, then definitely feel free to visit my uh, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I have quite a few videos there. I'm not teaching you how to make flowers today. I'm teaching you how to play and create mixed media uh, project. There we go. So we have those flowers there. We can add a few uh, bow strings uh, as well. This is just a butcher string, nothing sophisticated, nothing super fancy. You can just play with the butcher string uh, and add it to your project. And it also gives that special nice touch to, to your piece. Okay. So we're pretty much done. We're pretty much finishing. We're adding the final touches to our canvas. Um, we're going to just use those elements to nicely finish it off uh, our composition. And as you can see, uh, with building your composition, you're taking steps. You're not sticking all the elements at once. You're taking it turns, so you're just building, adding, adding here, maybe there. So don't go just and stick everything once. You you take your time with this. So as you can see, I left those on purposely so I can fill them nicely with my composition. So I'll give a bit of a close up to you so you can see it better. Oh, it's beautiful, really. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so I'm going to just maybe add this butterfly 
Mm -hmm. Maybe in this area. So we have nice composition. The heavier elements, the, the more um, going on on this area and it's slightly going lighter on this area. That's the way how I create. I always concentrate one area is going to be a little bit busier and the other one is going to be a little bit lighter. That's the way to go. Don't stick your elements in just one places. Just have your composition to be um, transit from one place to another so it will have nicely flow together. Okay, great. Uh, we have a lot of comments. Cindy Crane wrote, beautiful and simply elegant. Then Prado Royas sent you a tons of arts. Then Irena wrote, beautiful project. And we have a comment in Polish, I think, from Agnieszka Morozov. So... O, dziękuję pięknie Agnieszko, dziękuję bardzo, że byłaś. Mam nadzieję, że przydał Ci się e, dzisiejszy live, że, że coś, e, coś z tego było e, pożyteczne, że zostałaś zainspirowana. Będzie mi bardzo miło, jeżeli e, otagujesz mnie w swoich projektach. Bardzo chętnie je sobie obejrzę. Great. So, goodbye Agnieszka, thank you for joining us today. There we go. So here we go. Now, the, also another tip. Now, if you don't have so many um, elements to play with, for example, if you don't have, for example, die cuts, um, then you can, for example, create some uh, beautiful composition using the elements from the paper parts. You have so many elements to cut out and how you can make them more dimensional. You can just stick them on the gray board and then just for the cut. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to cut it, but that's the way to go. So you can just create them yourself. You don't have to have everything in hand. You can just stretch your imagination. But I like to have so many things in my um, in my uh, stash. I like to play with elements. Um, I'm enjoying the process. And that's the thing. That's the thing to go. Oh, okay. great. Right. I think we are pretty much coming to finish our session today. Um, I will add a bit of a um, title to my project. I will add this nice uh, chipboard, uh, Create Art. I think it will just complement nicely there. So I'm going to just use the gel medium to stick it on, although it's adhesive at the back, but to make sure it will stay in place, it's good to add gel medium to it because we're adding the um, title to our um, clay element. And because we've added some mediums on top, just to make sure it will stay in place, uh, it will seal nicely. Then you can add your gel medium. Uh, you can also use the um, hot glue, however, uh, it might come off in time, but to make sure that the pieces will hold nicely together, you can just add gel medium, and that's the way to go. Oh, great! And you and... Oh, dziękuję Iwonka, dziękuję bardzo, bardzo mi miło, bardzo się cieszę, dziękuję, bardzo, bardzo, bardzo się cieszę. Great, I was telling you that there was a comment in uh, Polish, but you have already replied. I've spotted it. I've spotted it. Okay, to finish off my project, you know, I can't go without the bling bling. I have to have a big, big bling going on on my project. And of course, I'm adding some uh, gel medium on some areas here and there in places. And I will use my beloved Glamour Sparkle. I can't live without this product. Honestly, it's so amazing. There we go. So we have a bit of a gel in places where I think I will add a bit of a happiness. Let's call it happiness. Oh, um, yes. Project. So I'm going to just use this cellophane from my um, rice paper and I'm going to just use the beautiful blue glamour sparkle beautiful 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 i love this product i love this product 
Uh, there's so many different colors available guys if you don't know glamour sparkles you need to have them and i'm sure you're gonna love them because they are just wow super super great and what's also good about them they are made with the glass so they've got that sparkle they've got that shininess in them so your project will have that special special uh, touch here we go here we go just maybe a little bit more there here we go i think we are done here with your final touch with the sparkles <laughs> yes i have to have my final touch to the sparkles <laughs> okay isabella oh, wrote it's isabella wrote as for anna glamour sparkles should be sold in a one kilo jars or possibly even bigger <laughs> I definitely agree with that because I just love them so much. I just love them so much. Yes, I just love them so, so much. Uh, Grazia, thank you. Thank you so much. Great. Oh, it's so Ja, sroka i uwielbiam błyszczące. Yes, tak, yes. Um, tak, ja też jestem sroka i też uwielbiam błyszczące elementy, więc definitywnie to jest, to jest coś, co, co, że tak powiem, rogue my boat, nie? Okay, so we have this project ready. I hope you had a good time, you had fun, you learned something from me. Let me just give a close up so you can see this beautiful background. You can still see beautiful design from rice paper underneath. We have layers and layers going on there. We have so much happiness going on here, guys. Absolutely mm -hmm. so much. And your project is dimensional as well. So what you can do with your uh, canvas, you can just uh, put that a little bit of a, um, like you are doing on the pictures, that a little hook, and you can just hang it on the wall, or for example, you can just place it on your shelf, and you have beautiful decoration for your room. So let me bring the original one. So that's the original project, and that's the one what we created today. Anyone fancy my project? Give me a comment. I'm happy to send it to you. So feel free, fire away. Oh, I'm very generous today. That's nice. <laughs> I'm very generous today. If anyone wants my project, leave me a comment and I'll get in touch with you and send my project with my special message at the back. So I'm really nice. sorry, but this is it. This is this is the end one. of my session today. I can put, uh, uh, I will put a short video. We will turn our cameras and we will say our final goodbye. What do you think? Yes, definitely. That will be great. Awesome. Do you know our Facebook group, Stampers Worldwide? The place where you can post your creations, ask for advices, and make new friends and above all, an incredible source of inspiration. Subscribe now and join Stumper's Worldwide Group. It's for free, we're waiting for you. And here we are. And here we are. That, that our <laughs> friends are commenting in order to receive your project. Anna, Eleno, Lady Fair, Natalia, uh, great guys great great that's fine awesome thank you so much anna for another great life together as always i had a lot of fun talking with you uh it's really nice when when for the for, for me when we have this life together and yes, thank I you people for having, thank you people for having followed us and this afternoon there is the live with uh, Christina Radovan and Monica Iglesias. I was checking on the, on the other screen of the computer because I didn't remember. So see you this afternoon with Christina and uh, Monica. Thank you again, Anna. See you um, in October. We have planned other lives together. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Thank you so much everyone. Dziękuję kochani. Zapraszam na kolejne live. Mam nadzieję, że wam się spodobają moje e, projekty, moje inspiracje. Thank you so much everyone. I'm so super grateful to have you all here and I couldn't do without you. You are just so so amazing. So thank you Lucrezia for hosting me once again and till the next time. My pleasure. Bye. See you next